hockey cards. Nope, it's magic. This is all they got left. We're gonna see if we actually make a profit from these Dollarama Magic Gathering packs. I won't lie, these are kind of like a guilty pleasure for me. I know I'm probably not gonna get the value back that I spent on these packs, which are 13 by the way, and I spent $22 including taxes. All right, so let's crack into these things and see if we can at least recoup some of our potential losses. Well, potential, let's be honest. It's a, pretty much a guarantee, right? I mean, right? That's what we'd think. Okay, let's open our first dollar store pack. Yep, I just uh, <laughs> just felt like buying out the whole store. Just as a joke, I, don't know, I thought it'd be kind of funny. Ended up being 13 packs there, which uh, I'm kind of grateful that there wasn't more than that, because I would have spent over $100 on these dollar store packs. I probably would have felt very foolish. I mean, I might still feel foolish, to be honest. Uh, the way that they actually, uh, yeah, separate the cards in this pack, they're a little bit random. There's like a lot of them flipped back and forth. They do it on purpose so that you can't search the packs when you're going to buy them. So I'm just gonna kind of go to the back where there's a card here. Okay, Slum Reaper, flip this over. Okay, so we have a Silk Weaver Elite. It's our first card. We get a Luxa River Shrine. What I like to do with these packs is they're good for Chaos Draft and also just kind of seeing, you know, magic cards throughout the years. Sometimes you get some fairly old cards in here, like really old, uh, like Visions old, you know, like Mirage old. So yeah, very old sometimes. I think I've even seen a revised card in here once. Aerial Engineer, that's an uncommon. We have Kill Shot. Okay. <laughs> there you go, Commander, I think 2019 card, V2 Ghazi Guild Mage. There's our rare. It is Glint Sleeve Siphoner. Yeah, I think uh, not a dollar, but uh, not bad. Not a bad card. It was okay in standard. And then we got a Night Market Aeronaut. Shock. Wrangle. Kozilek's Channeler. We do have a Transcendent Envoy. Uh, we have a Hero of the Games. M14 Fog. And two common cards at the end. Nyxborn Colossus and Slum Reaper. Only two uncommons in that pack. That's actually pretty low for these dollar store packs. Usually you get at least three or four. So hopefully, hopefully that was just a really dud pack. But I mean, there are dollar store packs. So there's no real sense in complaining here. Yeah, yeah, so let's flip these around. Ooh, nice. Unstable Obelisk. Uh, not bad. Commander 2017. Choking Restraints. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Very old. All the way down from Apocalypse. Urborg Uprising. Sage Eye Harrier. Another Veto. Guys, at Guildmates. Jeez. Grand Warlord Rada is our rare in this pack. Elf Warrior with Haste from Dominaria. And then we have a Crowl Prowler, a Malfunction, Salvager of Secrets, Chaplain's Blessing, and then we have, flipping around again, Sestassian Training, Soul Reaper of Mogus, either M14 card here, Verdant Haven. And same sets from the last pack, the last two packs, Scuzzback Marauders, Aspect of Manticore from uh, Theros and Ultimate Masters. I'm noticing a theme with the types of cards we're getting here, guys. I don't know if you guys are catching that too. All right, Let's see what we get. Way right back, we have, okay, cool. Lauren card, wow, okay, so this pack was all over the place. I don't know, that was weird order here. Nyx Infusion, uh, Harsh Sustenance with Ronin Houndmaster from uh, Champions of Kamigawa. Gorgon Recluse from Commander 2019 with a Dragon Throne of Tarkir is our rare. Okay, I know you can get two rares in these uh, in some packs. Catacomb Slug, Guardian of Miletus, an Infernal Scarring, and we get a card from Mirrodin, Oriac Transfixer, Thornwood Falls, Throttle, Caregiver, Chained Memory, Inner Flame Acolyte, and a Fierce Witch Stalker. Okay, next dollar store pack. Let's see what we get. And then obviously we do a little recount of all the rares that we've pulled in here. So we get a Gorgon Recluse, another card from Commander in 2019. Ooh, there you go, Le jo Johnny's Last Stand from Magic Horse at 2019. Nice enchantment here. So that is our rare. And then we got a Voltaic Rambler, Send to Sleep. A Water Courser, flipping that again. We have a Titanium Golem from Mirrodin. Abzan Banner, Sidisi's Pets, Cliff Threader, Vexing Gull, 
Flurry of Horns, Thought Picker Witch, not bad from the original Ravnica, Bolt to Smash, Chariot of Victory, and Knight of Keep. Yeah, not getting a lot of uncommons I'm, I'm noticing in these packs. Um, maybe they've uh, reduced the amount that you, you get in these now. Oh, flipping things over here. Okay, we got a Gorgon Recluse with a Dubious Charge from Kaladesh is our rare. Okay, alright, alright. Mulder Savo, Tophon Freeblade, and Shrouding Mist with a Tooth of Chiscoria, Mardu Banner, Scoured Barons, Caregiver, Glory Bears, Humbler <laughs> of Mortals, uh, a Quarter Paladin from uh, Mirrored and Siege, Gift of Orzova, Flesh Eater Imp. Okay, we got a lot of uncommons in that pack, and then we get one here, a common from Throne of Eldraine, Prophet of the Peak. Next pack! Okay. Let's see what we get. I'm going to have to do a lot of cleaning up after this thing's done. Flip that over into the back. There we go. Okay. Ooh, there's our rare right off the bat. Artisan of Form. So yeah, the order is just so random with these packs. You can't. It's very hard to search if you are looking to do that with these packs. I don't know why you would. Dollar store packs. Unholy Indenture. White Mane Lion. Disciple of Phanix. Uh, Fibrous Entangler. Uncommon. Ferocious Tigorilla. <laughs> Tigorilla. Uh, Crackling Triton. Blood Aspirant, Desert of the Indomitable, Doorkeeper, Mawuli, um, Beast Tracker Fling, uh, put that there, uh, Jackal Familiar from Magic 2010, pretty old there, Distress, uh, Reroute from the original Ravnica, uh, Jaddy Offshoot with a Duress from Iconic Masters. All right, next pack to go, let's see. I've gotten foils in here before, so I'm really hoping I can pull on camera here as a foil, even if it's not a great foil. Uh, it'd be uh, fun to show that off, because I know you can get them sometimes. Okay, so we have a Flash Freeze, our first uncommon in this pack. Brass Squire, great card. Might be worth around a dollar. Really good for you just attach equipment just by tapping it. Uh, great, great card. Armillary, uh, Armillary Seer, sorry about that, Leline Phantom, with a Violent Eruption for Commander 2019, and we have a Havengal Rune Binder from uh, the Blessing Cursed Dual Deck, I believe. Furled Sea Serpent, Gearsmith Prodigy, Divination, Wicker Witch, Tormenting Voice, Embodiment of Spring, Griffin Sentinel, Hero of the Pride, with a Merchant of the Veil as our last card. All right, let's see what we get here. Still no packs that have dual rares. I did have that in one of the videos. If you go back and look at my dollar store openings, that, that did happen on camera. We did pull two rares in one pack. Let's see what we get here. Oh my god, this is the worst order I've seen. What's going on? Okay, Sovereign's Bite. Not bad. Not bad. Kind of a, a little bit similar to, uh, I guess, a Lightning Helix, but it's more like draining. It's it's just the opponent's life. You don't have no other options to do it to creatures. And it's a sorcery, so maybe not as much as I just stated. Stronghold Dis uh, Discipline from Nemesis. Another two in a row. Wow, another one in Flowstone Strike. Okay, three cards from Nemesis there. Strategic Planning, great card. Uh, Barony Vampire with an Awaken the Sky Tyrant. Nice enchantment from Commander 2015. Not bad. I think it might be the coolest rare we've gotten so far. Consulate Skygate. A Silver Chase Fox, Hired Poisoner, a Wily Bander, Wind Scarred Craig, Rise Again. Nice, we got Gary. There you go. Not a bad uncommon. Gray Merchant of Asphodel, uh, Pressure Points, and Manolith. That was actually, I think that was like the best pack we've opened so far. We got three Nemesis cards. We got Gary, and we got a nice uh, Commander 2015 rare. Pretty cool. Okay, let's see what we got here. Uh huh, uh huh. Why is that flipped? Okay. What is going on? Let's get that. Okay, there we go. We good now? Nope. Whoa. Oh, another Gary in the back there. I just saw that. We got Inspired Charge. Eager Construct. We got Insubordination from Arcadia Mass. Reverse Engineer from Aether Revolt. Tezra's Ambition. Barony Vampire. Traveler's Amulet. And we have a Cerebral Eruption. Wow, rare. All the way back from Scars and Mirrodin. Jeez, yeah. That's what I like. I like the variety of different rares you can get all across... Uh, Magic's history, really cool. We get a Moss Viper, uh, Infuriate. We have a Goblin Assailant with a Sky Swirl Harrier. Giant Spectacle, Mardu War Shrieker, an Opt, great card. And a Gary again, a Gray Merchant of Asphodel. Nice. Okay, yeah, these packs are actually 
Better than I was expecting him to be, although we still haven't seen a two rare pack. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get that there. Oop, I think I saw the rare. That's okay. Another Gary! My god. Jeez. We got a doorkeeper, a final reward, fatal fumes, first uh, fierce band thunderhoof, dragon hatchling, grizzly spectacle. Then we get a seacoast drake. There's our rare. Oh, nice. A wolf. Okay. Uh, pretty cool because we are getting wolves in Innistrad, so who knows? Maybe this card could go up. It's got first strike and delirium. Scourge Wolf has double strike as long as there are four or more card types among cards in your graveyard. It's a 2 2 for 2 red. All right, not bad. Pretty cool. You get Omen of the Dead, a Flutter Fox, Arden Veil Paladin, a Wrecking Beast, Slimebind, a Baz uh, Bizarre Crovod, Implement of Confusion, and another Gray Gary. We have a pl Do we have a playset now of Gary's? Oh my god, that's awesome. Okay. Next pack to go. Again, they have done this one pretty odd. All right, uh -huh. oh, I see the rare there, though. Okay, what? Another Gary! My god, more than a playset, maybe. Hunt the Weak, Grizzly Spectacle, Tempest Owl, all the way from Zendikar, Haze of Pollen, uh, Oashra, Cultivator, Alley Evasion, Cancel, Tezzeret's Ambition, and a Fiery Justice from Modern Masters 2017. This is going up top there. Now we got Thornwood Falls, Daybreak Chaplain, with a District Guide, Crawl Foragers, Slum Reaper, a Fen Hauler, and another Gary. <laughs> nice. Will we get Gary's again in these last two packs? I don't know. I mean, looks like we are. My God. So many. It's a great card, too. Really good card. Uh, okay, how are we doing this? Okay, back to this. Okay, so no, these are going to be different. Ooh, Goblin Tinkerer from... <laughs> Wow! All the way back from Mirage. Remember I was just saying Mirage and Visions. I've seen those on in these uh, repacks before. Cool. You can tap it for one red. Destroy target artifact that artifact deals an amount of damage equal to the, its casting cost to Goblin Tinkerer. Hmm. Not bad. And we got a Tower Geist, a Ruin Rat, Selfless Cather, another V2 Geyser Guild Mage, and we have an Oath of a Johnny is our rare from this all the way back from Aether Revolt. Okay, and then we get a Storm Strike, a Burning Tree Vandal, Gravel Hide Goblin, Angelic Purge, with a Warp, uh, Rap and Flames, Hero of the Games, Vile Rebirth, and then our last two guards is Chain of Memory and Cathedon. Okay, last pack. Wow, I really hope you guys enjoyed this opening. Uh, I had fun doing this opening. Hope you uh, enjoyed it as well. And let me know what you guys think of Dollar Store packs. Uh, I might do a few more Dollar Store videos, but... Uh, I'll take a break from it. I've opened quite a lot of dollar store packs on this channel already. Uh, Larger Than Life, Putrid Leech from, one, I think, uh, one of the dual decks. Uh, Steam Core Weird, Firehoof Cavalry, V2 Gazoo Guild Mage again, jeez. And then we have Munda, Ambush Leader, Core Ally from Battle for Zendikar. A Feral Maka, Gravel High Goblin, Feral Maka again. Angelic Purge, we've seen a lot of repeats though. Altar of the Pantheon, Traveler's Amulet, with a Brindle Boar, a Iroa's Blessing, and an Arena Athlete is our last card. Not bad. What do you guys think? Here's our little rare recap here. I think the coolest rares that I've seen in this probably would have to be, just in terms of coolness, uh, Awaken the Sky Tyrant. Seeing it at Commander Rare is pretty cool. Um, Fiery Justice on uh, Modern Master Set, and Scourge Wolf and Cerebral. Eruption. Really cool. Not bad. I don't know. What do you guys think of this opening? Let me know in the comments down below and I will see you guys in the next opening. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.